all right so we got a surprise somewhere over in this direction but before you guys see the surprise please give a like comment share and subscribe to the channel now let's get into it all right how are you guys today uh diaz vlogs and i'm back again with another vlog today and today i'm going to be showing you my toolbox here at work and basically like what my job is a little bit like and so i did give permission that i can you know record and do this vlog in here which is pretty nice and so let's dive right in i'm guessing you guys already see what's behind me so let me clip out real quick let me flip the camera and then i'll show you guys my toolbox and what i got in there and what i'm going to be getting next and i definitely recommend this toolbox behind me for the simple fact that you know if you're going to be a loop technician you are going to need some type of way i guess of storing your tools and you're not going to need like the most ginormous tool cart in the world you know or you're not going to need like the biggest toolbox in the world or chest just something you know simple you know because as a lube technician i don't think you guys might be doing way more stuff than just oil changes and all that as a lube technician at most places you'll be doing like tire rotations tires flat repairs uh oil changes uh cabin filter air filter wiper blades um light bulbs to a certain extent and uh batteries so let's dive right into it and i'll show you guys what i got dun, da, da, da. check it out so this is a u.s general toolbox that i bought from harbert freight and this went for probably around 250 dollars and so it's not too bad for a tool cart you know it's definitely spacious a little bit on the inside which i really like because i'm not going to need too much things for right now um, I'm still in the learning process of doing a bunch of stuff. And so, yeah, definitely really awesome. I sadly couldn't get any other color but yellow. But I like yellow because now I think of it as the Mumblebee toolbox. But they have blue, black, green, red, and white, I believe. I think they have more. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure that they got more. And so what I like about this tool cart is here on the side, if I were to have anything, you know, um, I could store it there right here. Um, this little side attachment, um, it only bolts onto the top two. And so being that it only bolts onto the top two, um, of course you're gonna get a little bit of movement like underneath, but it's on there. And the assembly time for this took me personally about two hours because I wanted to make sure everything was right. And so being that it took two hours, one of the main big reasons is that up here this pole that's right here that's holding the bottom structure and the chest up here on top right here you have to make sure you measure it right with the measuring tape for the simple fact that this is three eighths of uh inch and then this is an inch and three eighths i believe and so you have to be very careful and you have to measure it out and see what exactly you have and so actually let me show you guys what i got in the tool cart so of course, as you see, it's a US General. It's got the gas strut lift, which is pretty nice. So if I were to just close it, I could literally just close it right there. And then it closes. And then when I lift it up, there you go. Lifts up right on its own. And then these right here, you guys are probably wondering what are these. When you close the top of the toolbox, this pushes down and locks everything completely from the drawers because you have these buttons right here that you push in and it'll open up. And then when you push it in, you see this right here, this clicks in and there you go, locks it in. And so I have to get used to it still of going up to my toolbox, just opening up and closing it, you know, and just kind of figuring all that out. But what I do have in my toolbox is I have a Braun flashlight. This thing is actually incredibly bright. You are gonna need this as an essential for a simple fact that you're gonna be checking underneath the car you want to make sure everything underneath the car is proper and so all right here i got from the smallest all the way up to the biggest um for flathead mixture with uh, phillips i have still have to organize it and actually i got to bring more phillips uh, screwdriver sizes and then here we just got like my pens and all that i got my tire gauge right here this is definitely very important as a loop technician because then you want to make sure that your customer has you know really good tires and they're not gonna walk out and then say oh well they didn't recommend my tires so i'm gonna go out and damage my tires even more and get them even more bald and they do actually before i continue on this toolbox does come with a locking key 
it actually comes with four of them but i'll get to that more towards the ending of the video so we got my safety glasses for right now i got my eight piece impact socket set three each drive and then i have a mixture of three drives torx but sorry about that guys i had to clip out someone was just calling my phone but anyways we got my three h drive uh socket set torx uh three eight and quarter inch and then we got more quarter inch stuff over here um really small millimeter sockets this right here is also my bits right here and phillips uh you know flat heads and my hex head which is pretty nice and then i got this actually because this i usually check my differentials um on like customer vehicles and so i actually do need i believe let me see on some of them i know it is i'm trying to take a look right now at the millimeter sometimes a seven millimeter to like an eight millimeter depending on the vehicle um and so yeah over here i just got this right here for my um quarter inch you know uh sockets let's see let's see then we also got one more i think flathead yeah this is a really long flathead should be over on the other side but i still have yet to organize this toolbox and then i also got the same thing you know another uh quarter inch you know tool and that's it for the top half everything for my top cabinet as you guys can see so now we're gonna go ahead this is where i got other torques right here and this is where i kind of got like the really really small you know like micro uh flathead in phillips and then we got this stuff right here real quickly old school tire gauge as well or not tire gauge air pressure sorry after like almost eight hours of work i'm like dead right now over here we got my filter sockets i label my stuff so that no one takes it i uh, usually mostly mainly use the 24 right here for the top half filters and then we got this husky 3 8 drive ratchet it's meant to be like this um my dad actually bought it when he was uh what do you call it when he was a technician for waste management and the way that it is i like it because actually i used it today because for the simple fact that i had to get into a tight spot and the bend actually helped me out and it's kind of old and rusty as you guys can see but as you guys can see this is husky then we got my uh snap-on 3h drive ratchet right here with the flex hood this right here i definitely really recommend it it is you know a little bit up there on the price but it is so worth it you know and so I definitely really like this product and I always make sure it's nice and clean even though it gets dirty and it's meant to be beaten up but yeah so we got that in here and I actually went over if you guys haven't checked out in my previous video um I did go over you know some of the stuff that I do have at home like I went over the impact extension set and actually I this is really important to me I also got my chrome extension right there and then we got uh, the sockets that I was doing. And so, yeah, we're actually gonna go in over here. Well, I see you, I see you. Do you wanna come over here and be part of it real quick? All right, we got a special guest real quick. All right, so we actually got a coworker over here. What's up? What's up? Say how what's up to the channel. What's up, channel? How you doing? <laughs> and uh, how long have you been working here? Almost a year. Almost a year, and how do you like Almost it? Almost a year, it's all right. That's all right. Good. That's good, man. And that's good. He's actually walking by as I was recording, so I thought I'd get him in the video, you know, so that when he gets home and watches it, <laughs> cool stuff, man. But we're gonna get back to the box real quick. So, um, that's it for that drawer. I already showed you guys there. That one's kind of like the miscellaneous for now on until I actually organize and get better knowledge of more tools and stuff. This is where my ratchets, um, you know, my filter socket and my extensions are at. This one, I believe, this one's a Craftsman that I brought from home and this one's not too bad it's 3h drive um and yeah this one's not too bad at all i definitely like the black finish ones because for the simple fact that they're stronger more durable like the sockets i had to over and over keep buying chrome sockets from harbor freight that just kept breaking on me so i decided to get the pittsburgh you know um basically like the matte covered surface ones and over here this is for the underneath filter for the vehicles that i work on I do have this extension for a half inch drive. And so we got 19, we got, I believe a 21, no, 13, 16, 17, 22, and then a 21 uh, millimeter socket. 
or not millimeter, a 21 uh, socket. My bad. My brain's literally taking a dump right now. So sorry for y'all. Um, with that said, then we got this very bottom drawer. When I get my own impact uh, wrench, that'll definitely be nice. My torque stick, all the bigger tools that I need for this job. Because still right now, I am going to be needing a couple of things. Like I know I'm going to be needing an impact uh, gun so that I can go up, you know, to like the tires and stuff. It'll be easier for me, especially with an electric one because the air hose one is really cool. And I like how powerful the air hose one is. It's just when I go like outside to do like wheel locks and stuff, I'm definitely going to need that. And then a torque stick, I or not torque stick, a torque wrench. I did have a torque wrench, but the problem was, was that mine broke from the spring. And so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get a really good high end one so that it lasts me for a really long time. And yeah, definitely, you know, I just want to be able to invest into myself with the best quality tools that I possibly can so that I don't have tools that keep breaking down on me. And that is why, you know, I chose to get some stuff, you know, from Snap-on because Snap-on's got really amazing durable tools like the ratchet that I was using from before. Actually, let me see if I can find that ratchet from before. Yeah, so I was using this uh, 3H drive uh, Matco ratchet. Don't get me wrong, Matco's got a really amazing, you know, like ratchets and tools. It's just this one right here literally took a dump on me about maybe, let's say like two weeks ago. And I was like, crap, I need a ratchet, you know? So uh, the Snap-on guy, you know, he helped me out. And uh, yeah, got that's how I got the one that I got now. And it's just because the, te the tooth in this one on the inside, it just didn't click no more and it just literally took a straight tanuki on the dookie on me so i was like yeah no i kind of that definitely did affect me a little bit at work until um you know the guy came and then that's when i bought the tool and so let me clip out real quick and yeah so i think that the last thing that i need to show before we head out for uh you know from the rest of the video is i'm going to show you guys my bay like my space area and i know different shops have different lifts you know for uh the workers you know and technicians for everybody else so i'm going to show you guys that real quickly so this is my work area right here as you guys can see my toolbox right over there uh this is the lift that i work on i like it it's got the double locks you know and then it's got the two posts right there on each side and um then my work computer that i work at over here to check like some information and stuff you know on the car and yeah then we got my uh washer fluid my windshield washer fluid that i pour in for the customers you know every single vehicle that i get in i always pour fill it up to the top because i care for you guys ding, ding. but that's basically it for today's vlog and video i'm really glad that you guys stay tuned and got to check this out um i've been looking at my analytics once again and i have a lot of viewers that are not subscribed to the channel that do watch my videos so if you guys are definitely one of them Please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting a lot more content. And I'm going to see um, if maybe I can do a video with, like, the Snap-on guy, like, going onto the truck and, you know, showing off some cool products and stuff. And, you know, just having fun. And then I think I am in the works of doing a vehicle review soon for the channel. And then also for, like, an, an adventure vlog and, you know, like, a lifestyle-type vlog, I'm also going to be going to the Aurora, I believe, Lights for um, like the Christmas, you know, holiday stuff. That's actually gonna be really pretty and fun. I'm gonna take my girlfriend and uh, we're gonna record a vlog and she's gonna be on the channel and hopefully my family too. You guys will be able to meet some of my family and so I definitely think that's great. And before I go, I did promise that I will lock up the toolbox and show you guys how that locks real quickly. So with this magic key that you have been blessed with, if you have purchased this toolbox, you get four of them. I got two on this key and then I got the other two at home for just in case. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lock it up, make sure my cabinets, you know, are closed so nobody, you know, takes my stuff. I am gonna be taking my ratchet home because I do use this um, for when I go home. So I'm gonna close that up. And then let me just put this light down. Now that we got everything handy, nice and dandy, I'm gonna need this face mask because we don't have to wear our mask for right now when we're in our own bay, but then when we walk around and stuff, we have to put it on. So let's close it up. It lifts right back up, but right now we're gonna close it, make sure everything's all good. And what's crazy, um, what I don't like is that I have to like hold it down as I do it. So I'll position the camera actually so that you guys can see. All right, so 
basically what you gotta do is this this could happen for maybe some of them, maybe not you know all the toolboxes, but you just don't know. But I usually hold it down, push the key in, pull it up, and that's all you do. Now the toolbox is fully locked, you won't be able to open it up. Even when you hold the button, because remember the two things that were on the inside that were sticking out? Now that that's forced you down, everything's completely locked up. So I'm gonna clip out real quick. And that's it for today's vlog. Um, if you guys definitely enjoyed the content, please give a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay safe, everyone. Have a good rest of the day or night. Diaz Vlogs is out. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please give a like, comment, and share, and subscribe.